Hello, my very most beautiful Scorpios. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So, my lovelies, we are going to be doing your July monthly reading. This is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do a personals open. And everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. So, Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my most beautiful... Scorpios, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Scorpio's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves. Let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. So we're going to be looking at all the different energies that are at play for the month of July. Scorpio. Let's take a look here and see what's going on. There's some it, there's some heavier energies here, okay? I feel like you guys are gaining some clarity in a situation. And it could come after you guys have done some investigating. I, I you guys could have you guys could have how do I want to put this? You know, um, come across some kind of communication. So whether you see a text or something like that, somebody tells you something, I, I do feel like there's something that is coming into your awareness here that is causing you to want to kind of push some, reject something, push something away here, somebody away here. Um, you got the nine of swords here. I feel like you're awakening to some kind of truth here about a person or a situation that you're dealing with. And I feel like it's very difficult for you. Okay. It's, it's, it's not an easy truth to realize. You have the, I feel like you're really in your head about the situation. You got the five of pentacles here in the reverse. Tell me about this five of pentacles here in the reverse. Especially the five of pentacles and the nine of swords. You know, I feel like some of you guys are contemplating having to walk away from somebody, but there's a part of you that doesn't want to. I feel like they could be making it difficult. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you're trying to, you know, leave something behind because of whatever this is that's come into your awareness, whatever whatever this realization is that you've had. And I feel like you guys are trying to leave something behind here as painful as that is. I don't think it's easy for you to do. I, mean, I do feel like it's a very painful decision for you guys to make. And I feel like somebody else is making it difficult because they keep trying to, you know, get another chance, get another opportunity. They keep trying to communicate. And I think it's making an already difficult situation even more difficult for you. You got the three of swords. And the empress here. This is for a very small few of you, but some of you, this is probably for like one person out there, I'm sure, um, but it's coming up, so I'm going to read it. Some of you guys are even more hurt because the person, because you guys could be pregnant um, and you're finding this stuff out and that's making it even more difficult. Like I said, that message is probably just for like one person out there, but I, 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 I it's coming up very strongly, so I'm going to put it out there. You know, the sun card. I feel like one of the things that hurts the most is because you were so happy and you saw so much potential. So it's like when it was really good with this person, um, you know, it was really good. But the sun is illuminating a lot. And I feel like you are, you're just feeling like you're losing a lot here. And it's it's very painful for you. Got the two of wands here. I feel like you guys are making a decision to go a new path, to leave something behind. The page of cups. I feel like you guys keep getting an apology. I keep getting this energy. Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles in the reverse. The Page of Cups in the reverse. I feel like somebody is making it very difficult for you to make that decision to go into that new direction because they keep trying to, you know, reach out. They keep trying to reach out and they keep trying to apologize or tell you how they feel or tell you that they want this or, you know, they're saying all these um, things and tugging at your heartstrings. There's on this deck... It, there is a little pig and he has wings and it almost, it almost, it's like that 
phrase, what is that expression, when pigs fly? That's kind of the energy that I feel like you keep telling this person, um, you know, like, I'll get back with you when pigs fly. It's that kind of an energy. But I feel like they keep trying. And I feel like even though you may be coming across very, you know, like it's not having as big of an effect on you as it is, um, I feel like it is. We've got the Eight of Cups here next. I feel like you're trying to get to a more grounded place i feel like you're choosing to walk away but you're trying to get to a more like emotionally stable place that he's walking from the water onto the land i feel like that's something that you guys are trying to do as well trying to get to a more grounded place you have the lovers here the lovers is a major decision it represents a con deep connection and it also represents a turning point I feel like whatever this was that you guys have discovered was in a major turning point within your within your life and within this connection. And I feel like it is. It's a major decision for you because this was a very intense connection that you were very happy in. But it's like whatever this was was enough that you feel like it changed everything. It was a major turning point. And now, you know, I feel like you're trying to get to a more grounded place. But I do feel like you have made your mind up. They have the devil here in the center of the reading. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn with this energy. You also have lots of Pisces energy, Libra, Taurus, Gemini. Got the three of wands here, Capricorn. All right, so in Aries as well. So those are the ones I'm seeing. They could be other signs, but this is just what's sticking out to me at the moment. There's a lot of fear, okay? There's a lot of fear surrounding the situation. Um... I also feel like there's just something very toxic, okay? I, I I really I feel like it's this person's energy. Whatever they're doing, like it's like they're almost like they're doing this toxic stuff or you know, doing this the stuff that's causing you to be in this energy where you feel like you have to get away, you have to leave it behind. You, you can't, you know, go back to it. That's like how you're feeling. But then they keep pushing on you. I feel like they're making it very, very difficult. The three of wands here. They could be. They could keep sending messages out. The justice card, trying to make things right with you. They could be doing things, trying to, um, you know, fix things with you here. But the thing is, is, you have justice in the reverse coming up as well. So you know, they have been very unfair to you. They have treated you very unfairly. They've caused you a lot of grief. The five of cups, and I feel like you feel like this is something that even though they're trying so hard to, you know, convince you to let them make it up to you or make it right. Um, I feel like you're at this place where you feel like this is something that can't be fixed. Some of you guys could be in a very um, kind of depressed energy. So be cautious with this, okay? Just do what you guys need to do to take care of your mental and emotional health because I feel like you guys could be getting to a point where you're feeling very down. You have the Five of Swords. Um, it's causing a lot of mental chaos for you, a lot of mental confliction. This person could be being very manipulative and playing on your emotions as well. Tell me about this two of pentacles in the reverse. What is that here for? The temperance card. It could feel very overwhelming for you. And I feel like you guys are trying to... The temperance is a card of... It can be a card of healing. It can be a card of divine guidance. It can be a card of patience it can be a card of transforming from one thing to another i feel like you guys are feeling very emotionally overwhelmed by the situation and just getting you're just really wanting to get to a place where you feel better and you feel more stable and you feel more grounded okay um the two of pentacles in the reverse could just be like feeling like you don't like things are just way off balance feeling like you don't have control over things um and the temperance trying to be patient and waiting for something to change here but it's difficult you got the magician yeah it's like trying to manifest um, you know, a better situation or, you know, manifest some kind of positive change here. You have the King of Pentacles in the reverse as well. So feeling like things are very unstable. You have the Six of Cups. Some of you guys could have had a lot of, like, whether it's like your home or finances or money, things like that tied up into this. Or this is a connection that you have been dealing with for a very long time. Um, so it just, it's like there's a lot of layers to it. And it, it's causing you a lot of stress and chaos. 
with the Page of Pentacles. I do feel like you guys can be receiving some good news when it comes to um, your finances. So I, whether this is like a helping hand, somebody that wants to step in and help, I just feel like there's some kind of positive financial blessing coming in for you guys. So if you guys have been really worried, um, you know, because the situation is affecting your finances or walking away is going to affect your finances, I do feel like there is somebody here. This could be like a childhood friend or a, it could be a sibling, a family member even, that... I feel like it's somebody that you've known for a long time that is going to come in and give you a helping hand. There's some positive news. Um, so even if it's like a home or a place to stay or something like that here, somebody is coming in to help you with whatever that is that you guys have been worried about. You know, I, this person, I do feel like they are being very toxic, very manipulative, trying to trying to keep persuading you. I feel like you guys are having a hard time. Just do what you need to do to take care of your guys' mental and emotional state because this is... This is a temporary situation. It does get better, okay? Um, this person isn't making it easy, so do whatever you need to do in order to, um, you know, block that out as much as possible. But I do feel like you have support here. That's the important thing to know is that you guys do have support here. There are people here that are going to step up to help you. What advice do we have for Scorpio in this situation? What advice... We have the tower. So the, sometimes this is your energy. And when you're showing up in your energy, especially like this, I feel like you guys are in a stronger, like you guys are stronger than you think. You have more power than you think. And sometimes we have to let the tower fall. And I feel like this is something you guys could have been, you know, afraid to let it fall because of what, like whatever comes next. But it's time to let the tower fall. That's what the advice is. Because something is about to get rebuilt. The Knight of Swords here. I do feel like... Wow, and the full card. There is going to be, things are going to improve much faster than you can imagine. Okay, so Spirit is saying don't be afraid to let the tower fall. Let it fall. Um, because the Knight of Swords is a very fast moving energy and then the full card. Okay, there's a new beginning coming in for you faster than you can think. There's people here that want to come in and help and support you. And you are going to get back on your feet and be better than ever faster than you think. That's what that, that's what that message is. You just have to be willing to take that chance, okay? We have the Seven of Swords. I feel like the only thing that could be, I want to put this, the Three of Cups, that's a harvest. So somebody here is being very deceptive when it comes to, um, you know, some kind of reconciliation, some kind of reunion. I feel like you intuitively, I feel like you're being asked to trust your intuition because I feel like intuitively you know that they're not being honest with you. I would do whatever you need to do to block that out. But... I'm going to be praying for you guys. Spirit's saying just let the tower fall. It's time to let the tower fall. And you are going to get back on your feet and be better than ever, faster than you can imagine. You do have people here that love and support you and want to help you out, Scorpio, okay? So this is what I have for you guys. Now, if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.